Okay, so we're in our room. We got we got a lot of students. Things are not a lot to actually can't talk to anyone. Okay, got it. Got it. I thought there would be a lot more to do. I can talk to my assistant, well, Ms. Sayaka Maizono. Yeah, no. It's more like they want to start this meeting already, and then they don't want to spend time talking to each other. Yeah, I mean, I guess. We have important things to discuss. Okay, so since you're in the dark about all this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone's split up to investigate different parts of the building, but... You see. Byaka... Byakua? And Taka each went off on their own. So did Kyoko. Okay, well, Yakua, I'm not surprised that he went off on his own. I'll ask him, who was Taka again? Taka was, I believe he was a psychic guy, wasn't he? I could be wrong. I think that's Taka, though. Ah, him. I went some time ah, yes, looking sir. around the dormitory, and there I made the discovery of the sentry. I found that there was exactly one room for each person. Beautiful. Uh, well, yeah, I figured that out before anything else. Yeah. Each door already has a nameplate on it, so I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. Huh. And each room key was attached to a keychain with the owner's name precision etched into it. Which confirms that the room I was in earlier is, in fact, my room. And plus. And Shihiro and I found out that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Um. Your next door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you wouldn't hear a thing. <laughs> well, each room also had a private bathroom, which could also lock. Hmm. But it looked like there were only locks on the bathrooms in the girls' room. Girls' dorms. But when I checked my bathroom door before, it definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird. I should double check that later. Hey, come on. Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here a while. Quiet down and listen. Well, better to have that than to have not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. <sighs> that can't be all you have to report, can it, Mr. Honor Student? That's all for my report. Let's move on to whoever's next. Are you gonna keep the Vegeta voice for him? Eh, I'm not feeling like voicing at the moment. Okay, so nice. So since you're in the dark about all this, let's... Okay, yeah. Well, we already talked about Taka. Let's talk about Byakua. Byakua. I wanted to try and find some clues as to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all for me. But, 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 we, but we know it's Mo Monokuma. Yeah, but he's like a... He's like a... He's like a, a, a doll. He's like a stuffed animal. Yeah, there's lots of Monokumas around here, but, you know, whoever is behind it all is going under the alias of Monokuma. Precise. So we know there's a person who's sitting there like, I'm Monokuma. But he's got a bunch of stuffed animals. Really? That's it? Hmm. If I'd uncovered anything, naturally I would have more to say, but I didn't, so I don't. Right. Understood. It's nighttime. A surveillance camera. I hate the idea that someone would be watching me right now. Didn't they say it was like 7, 8 o'clock at night? Yeah, the meeting started at 8. I don't I know why... I include windows, though. I don't know why I just got a... Uh... Why did I get a token? So the coins, the Monokuma coins... I'm sure it'll come up later. You don't have to explain it. Okay, well... But I'm wondering why I picked it up off of a camera. That, that's why. You feel it, dude. I don't know if the game explains this, but you collect them just by looking at the things that it interests you. Okay. Just by investigating around. What about this door? I don't think I should leave right now. The atmosphere is unpleasant. I get the feeling someone's dead in my bathroom. 
It's, it's not a good feeling to have at all. No, it's not, but it is the feeling I, I have. I guess I could still only talk to her. Everyone's left to investigate you different see? parts. Bakia and Takia went on their own, and so did Kyoko. It looks like Leon, Hiro, Junko, Junko and Shihiro are all grouped up together. We went up and down the school, double checking the windows in all the hallways and classes. That's a good point. There's a window in this room. Unless it's fake. It probably is, let's be honest. It could be like uh, the hive in Resident Evil where you get stuck underground so long that it was just like, yeah, here's some fake images. There you go. Let me think about it. If they're going to bother bolting all the windows, they wouldn't just leave the glass window right there. Exactly. So either it's fake or it's like a hologram. We wanted to see if we could get any of those metal plates to come off. And what happened was hmm. nothing. Not a damn thing. We couldn't get a single one to budge even a little bit. What should I do? There wasn't any hope of escape anywhere. The school really has been totally cut off. This so I guess bad. one thing that I could mention, like, does the point of their ultimate come into play? Like, they're, like, the, the last girl, she's an ultimate programmer. Does she do programming in the game? Or, like, is... I guess what I'm trying to ask is, does the skill that each one of them possess, is it important to the plot of the game? Honestly, it depends on the person. Well, like, I mean, like, like their ultimate I'm completely average <laughs> sets up their uh, personality, in a way. This sucks. Bad, 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 it really bad. sucks. It sucks, 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 sucks. What the hell are we going to do? Hey, come on. God damn, calm down. You're just starting to make me nervous. Um, you, you don't have to repeat you yourself all these times. Well, to be fair, you've been reacting to everything she says, so she's got to start from the beginning so you can react to things she says. Like, in case you missed one of these and you had to go back, she'd have to repeat everything. We thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside, so we went looking all over. Sorry. But we didn't find a thing. Sorry. Yo. We went back to the main hall, thinking maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. Why? But even with soccer on me both, it wouldn't budge. We hit we hit it with desks and chairs and nothing. <laughs> Shit. It was hard as metal. It's Cause it's a metal door. Yes. Indeed. Well yes, it is metal, see? That, that's the that sarcastic ass comment I would have made. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna get out of here. It's not gonna be through there. I feel like I could just cry, but no, I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. So then. I shall tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading up to another floor. But there were gates there, we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. In other words, at this point we are only able to search the first floor. However... We can further assume that there is potentially something above the second floor as well. And if that's the case, there is at least a chance it may lead to a way out. Okay. Um... You see... Same goes for Hinosaka Armando, and then we have Celeste, Toko, and Hifumi. Let's see. It was Toko I was thinking of. If I'm being honest, I can't quite say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. Most unfortunate. Honestly, we are not exactly the types to go running around a school like a gaggling, gaggle of junior detectives. What the hell's wrong with you? She was the ultimate gambler. She probably just lied. What the hell were you thinking just sitting around the gym the whole time? Well, it's not like any of you invited me along. Nobody said, hey, c come with us. I blame you for leaving me out. I it's your fault. What the? If you wanted to go with someone, you should have just said something. <laughs> Forget it. Like, I'd want to go anywhere with a dirty slut like you. 
<laughs> well then, vulgar. Your mind is as thin as your body. You make me sick to my stomach. Are you for real? I don't even know how to react. How can you say something so awful to someone you just met? Hey, come All on. right, guys. Everyone just calm down, okay? All this stress is bad for your skin, you know. Oh, uh, that guy's name is Hero. Never mind. Oh, yeah. It's way off. No, it's Lucio. <laughs> I thought it started with a T. Sounds like you two are so close now, you're fighting like sisters. I don't think that's what's going on, Siaka. Hey, um. So that's what they have to say, huh? But I guess I'm the only one left. Um. I went and had a look around the dining hall. Found a fridge in the back of the kitchen, and it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. That's good. Guess we don't have to worry about food, at least. Uh, sure, for now, but... Oh, wait, this is your guy. Go for him. Oh, are you sure? Yeah. You're doing such a good job. <laughs> sure, for now, but even with all that, there are 15 of us. How long can the food last? <laughs> you could just eat sesame seeds or something. Ha! Ah, what am I, a parakeet? I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. Um, At least that's what Monokuma said. Hmm? You saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge. Told me that then disappeared again. He was so fast, I can't believe someone could have been moving him around with a remote control. That's... A weaponized toy that can make that can just appear from nowhere? I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. Well, Monokuma said that there was going to be multiple Monokumas spread throughout each room of the school. So, I'm not surprised? Yeah, but I think they're mostly surprised about just how fast he can go. If he's being remote controlled. Mm -hmm. Well, from what it... She said that just appear from nowhere. He's... That's what I was referring to. Right. If it I mean, appeared from nowhere, it's not that surprising because he said that they were going to be in every room of the school. But was everything okay? He didn't try to, like, eat you or anything? He is the headmaster. He said we had to kill each other. <laughs> eat her? Um, what do you mean by that? When you say eat, what kind of eating are you talking about? Ooh. Come on, man. Hey, you bastard. What the hell, fatty? You're acting like some kind of sleazy drunk dude. Actually. No, like, there's a good kind of drunk dude. Not like there's a good kind of drunk dude? Ugh. <laughs> no, like there is a good kind of drunk dude, though. Yeah, hey, stop like... screwing around, all of you. Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could all just die any second. She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something here. A voice cut through the noise, interrupting Mondo. Let me guess, Monokuma? You're all spending an awful... No, it's probably Kyoko. You're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying on. Hmm? Yeah. Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? I guess that means there's no dead body in your bathroom. No, no dead body in my bathroom. Unfortunate. Yoko, where the hell? Heck have you been? I was going to say hell, <laughs> but I guess it's not exactly hell. It's the same thing. We already started the meeting without you. She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Ah, huh? what's this? Appears to be a map of Hope's Peak Academy. A map? What, what, where did you find this? Well, Doesn't matter where I found it. It does matter! You're really freaking us out right now! But more important. Never mind that, what's it mean? It would seem... Just look at it. It's a map. The building we're in right now is laid out precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy. So what you're saying is, this really is Hope's Peak Academy? It's true. Well, in terms of its construction, yes. But it looks like it's had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? However... I don't know all the details yet. All I found was details about the first floor. Um... But then... Oh. But then, this really is Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. So stupid, it's not even possible. This is where the country's future elite are supposed to come and learn? But if this really is Hope's Peak, where are all the other students? Hey, come on guys, let's just stop talking about all this, you know, negative stuff. But aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Yo. Worried? What's there to be worried about? 
I mean, this was all planned out, right? The people in charge of Hope's Peak put this all together, right? <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I'd have ectoplasm shooting out of my mouth. What? Th no, nothing he says makes sense. Good things come to those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill and everything will work itself out. <laughs> What's your problem? Why are you laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> I am just happy. That is all. It seems splitting up to investigate was a good idea after all. <sighs> Haven't you been listening? Looking around was a total waste of time. We didn't find a way out. We didn't find out who's behind this. We still have no idea what's going on. Oh. Huh? Is that not crystal clear to you? What is going on? Are you okay with this? It is these? perfectly obvious that we are. We have been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. None of us had any response to that. We didn't want to accept that reality, but it was staring us right in the face. Mm. You didn't have to go and say that. I was trying not to think about it. No way out. We're trapped here. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> it's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Stop it! Don't even joke about that. Um. Everyone just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. Seems like... There's gotta be something we can do. <laughs> All we can do is adapt. Adapt is living our lives here from now on. That's... Live here? Are you saying we should just accept it? Do you understand? A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. Survival is not based on who is the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Actually... As someone who has come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? Huh? What do you mean? Mm. We all understand that we are trapped here, which means we will be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than a dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. Let's see. So regarding this nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> Going out at nighttime should be prohibited altogether. The school regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. <laughs> but why? Are you okay with the way this? things are now, every time night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. <laughs> we will be afraid someone might try and come kill us. Huh? What? <laughs> if we want to worry about that night after night for who knows how long, it would wear us down in no time. I see. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as a kind of prevented preventative measure. Indeed. However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow it. I mean, didn't the, wasn't the last rule that more regulations could be applied? Does yeah. that only be from but Monokuma? But I think that's only Monokuma. Okay. He's the headmaster. He makes right, the rules. Right, right. All right. What can we do? I see what you mean, but I think I can agree to that. Yeah, but no one can enforce it, so, like, we can all say, yeah, we agree, but it's not going to be enforced. Yeah, but then if you're caught going out during the prohibited hours, then you'll have to deal with everyone else. And... Yeah, but if you're caught, that means also the other person was out during the prohibited hours. Well, Someone would also be... have to be gone. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, unless you went to someone else's room, and then you would have been caught. I don't know, that, that rule just doesn't make sense. Like, there's no way that you can enforce it unless you are also breaking the rule. Everyone's vulnerable, so they're just gonna agree to this. It's like the little goth Alita said. Without something like that, we're just gonna self-destruct. On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply. What? Hey, you can't just decide to speak for us. This is fine. So everyone is in agreement, guys. <laughs> but if you will excuse me, huh? we're all breaking the rule right <laughs> now. Huh? Wait, where are you going? Let's see. It's almost nighttime. I want to take a shower before it arrives. I hope you are well. So, goodbye. Moving with pure elegance, Les left the dining hall. Her behavior seemed so natural, I couldn't imagine anyone ever trying to stop her. Um... So, so, I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. We'll be sending the night, it looks like. Huh. Adaptability. Hmm. So, Mr. Chairman, who's next? One person already left. Uh, well then, let's say we call an end today's meeting. 
You understand? Like she said, it's almost nighttime anyway. We can reconvene first thing tomorrow morning. Huh? Do we really have to stay the night here? Yep. What can we do? We don't have a choice. We can't go for long without getting some sleep. <sighs> so we have to just sucks. give up? <sighs> That's all fine and good for today, but what do we do to do tomorrow? So in the end. Our only option is to split up and look around again. And let everyone know if we find anything. I mean, it is a school. Are there classes? No. No? Okay. Hmm. There is no obligated class time. Yeah, okay, let's do that. So much for being a school, then. Aww. Then we're done for today. Good, I'm exhausted. With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their private rooms. Um... Makoto, are you ready to call it a day? Yeah, let's go. I mean, who's gonna teach them? They're cut off from the outside world. Malakuma? <laughs> because... This is how you kill a guy! <laughs> if you get this rusty knife real good, they'll die! This is really where I'll be staying for the foreseeable future. <laughs> oh, that's right. I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Only the girls' bathroom should have locks on them, right? Alright, let's open it up. It's no use. It really is locked. Bzz. Wrong. Not locked. Holy crap. <laughs> Jeez, talk about an overreaction. It's like you just saw a ghost or something. So, like, a monokuma is also in everyone's dorm room. <laughs> like, some kind of robot bear ghost? What are you doing here? What? Rakkato Nagi! This is a super duper majorly bad, so bad it's almost magical. Ultra magical, awful, awful attack! Uh-huh. In point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. Wait, so the reason it won't open isn't because it's locked, the door just doesn't fit? Have you seen the notice? What? Can't you read? Bathrooms in the boys' rooms don't have any locks. Yeah. I mean, a lock on a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? Ba -bum, ba -bum. Well, it's not that it's pointless, I guess, but I'm no expert on the birds and the bees and all that. Listen up. Anyway, there's a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door. And that's what I'm here to teach you. Okay, ready? So you just gotta turn the knob, then lift up while you pull. Yes, indeed. Go ahead, give it a try. Turn the knob and lift the door up while I pull. When I did that, the door opened without a problem. <laughs> See? It opened right up! Isn't that crazy, though? Your door's the only one that doesn't quite fit right. You're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But looks like you're not lucky at all. Bye -bye. Anyway, I suddenly don't feel like being here anymore. Bye bye Hey, wait. Damn it. Announcement. It is now 10 p.m. He's drinking wine. He is. And he is definitely watching every movement we make. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay, so basically, what's being. We're, are we told which rooms are off limits every night? Like, uh, does it change? I don't remember. Okay. But we're prohibited from going there at nighttime anyways. Dining hall is locked during the nighttime. Okay, well, you already then. talked about not Sweet following dreams, the rules. Everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. And don't die. No, I was just curious. I was wondering if... If we were just told which ones were locked off. Because we don't know what happens... I don't if recall. you fail a regulation, other than maybe a Monokuma just coming out of nowhere and going, Kabooey! Right next to you. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's nighttime. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I could do now is try and get some sleep. While still mumbling to myself, I collapsed into bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. Not that I was ready for bed exactly, I was just utterly exhausted. It was as if I'd spent an entire day staring at a TV watching movies. Or like some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed into a made-up fanta fantastical world. Oh, yeah. That just didn't look like the word. Fantastical doesn't make sense in this scenario, but... Okay. Fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've been suddenly dropped into. 
So this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope's Peak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up, I'd realize it was all a dream? It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. Monokuma the... Monokuma Theater! Theater, okay. In any normal school, Mr. Monokuma would be a kind teacher. But when I think about what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Hope's Peak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow! Oh, are we gonna get sent off in the rocket? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Yay! Please don't make that joke every time I have <laughs> that, that sound happened so many times in this game. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Is there any rule about not sleeping? Like, I mean, there's rules that you can't sleep outside of the room, but no one said you ever had to leave your room. I mean, I guess you don't have to leave your room, but you'll eventually starve to death. That is true. Get ready to greet another beautiful day! If we could see it. There's no windows. You got artificial lights. Apparently it's morning, but thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Maybe I should go find Sayaka and we can figure out where to go from here together. She did say she's my assistant now. Okay, it's decided. I'm gonna go to her room. With a newfound determination, I left my room. Oh, that's so yeah, that guy's you're... in the hall. So while you're traveling from place to place, you might find other people. Am I a fucking midget? And you can talk to them. Hello. Your back up slightly. I'm a fucking midget. I mean, he just looks taller than he is. It's okay. Hey. Good morning, Makoto. Good morning. Yes, morning greetings are quite a delight. Such an energizing way to start the day. Now then, let's make sure we both do our very best throughout the day. Sure. I wonder if he's always like this. Sayaka. Say there she is. There's a doorbell next to the door. I guess I should use that. Hello? Good morning, Sayaka. Hi, Makoto. Oh, Makoto. Perfect timing. Huh? Um, Listen, I have a favor to ask. A favor? Um, I was just getting ready to head out. If it's okay, would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk. Yeah, sure. Where are you headed? Um, uh, I'm thinking that there might be something around here I can use for self-defense. Self-defense? Um, well, I mean, whoever's keeping us here could show up and attack us anytime. You never know. Whoever trapped us here? Whoever presented us with this rules for murdering each other? Whoever put us in this insane position, she's right. We never know when they might attack. Um, so I just want to be able to protect myself no matter what happens. A weapon to protect herself. Well, now that I think about it, that display case in the gym, I'm sure you had a bunch of stuff. Maybe. <laughs> oh, the gym. Okay, let's go. Again? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I have just have amazing... How many times are we going to say this? I'm really... <laughs> am I really so easy to predict? Anyway, we should head to the gym. For anyone who just hates walking around the school, we've got some good news. You can now teleport using the map section of the handbook menu. It's as simple as opening the map menu and choosing where you want to go. However, you can only teleport to hallways and marked waypoints. Plus, you can't teleport to places you haven't been or places that are blocked off. Depending on certain story moments, there will be times when you won't be able to teleport at all. Finally, try not teleporting inside any walls. There's a good chance you'll get lost forever. Well then, good luck and have fun. Yeah, during my playthrough I didn't teleport at all simply because I really liked walking around the school. Yeah, I could see why walking around would be important because you also run into other characters which I don't think appear on the map. It's also beautiful. That too, I guess. Look at the map! Come on and tell me that that's not a good looking map. <laughs> Mr. Naegi, Ms. Mons Maizono, 
Where are the two of you off to? A man and a woman growing closer. Continue on. This is you. No, it's not. Makoto Naegi. Oh, hey, what are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I am not the fanfic creator. <laughs> like, when two people are stuck in a hostage situation and over the course of the story they fall in love? There's really no other way to express it but to say, how very poetic. I still can't get over those puffy lips. Hey, um... Makoto, do you have an idea what he's talking about? Nope. Don't have a clue. Huh. Yeah, he'll probably be the first one to die. Moving on. Huh. <laughs> it's a hard thing to say. It's always the fat one that gets <laughs> knocked off first. You know it. Hey, I just, I just gotta go to the bathroom. Excuse me a minute. Hey, um... the kid, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Good, then let's get moving. Ah. Makoto, that's the girls' bathroom! Oh yeah, sorry, I got confused. Come on, we have to concentrate. <laughs> so, am I allowed to also talk to other... See, I just... What? What's your question? What's this? That? Is that a garden with fucking... Why are there windows bolted in there? That doesn't make sense, because... Oh. I guess this is a lot larger than I thought it was. There must be like a courtyard there that I can't see. No! No, that would be about the right size of a room. Why are there windows here? That are bolted off? I don't know, but... You'd only look out into the hallway. I mean, I guess for privacy? Yeah, I don't... But then why have windows there to begin with? Why is there a courtyard here? I'm confused. I, I don't know. I also don't think you ever go in that section ever. So. You can't. There's no doors. It's just decoration, man. Yep. Yeah. But why have windows there? Like, I understand maybe going down this hall and having the windows there and showing off the trees, but why have windows that are blocked off specifically in there? <laughs> decoration? <laughs> I like seeing bolts in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the gym, right? Yeah, that's right. Good, let's go. Okay, so I can't go visit Look, anything. Who knows what M Manakuma was thinking when he started just putting random stuff everywhere. I mean, come on. This is Hero's room. I don't really feel like talking to him about right now. Uh, so I don't have anything to talk about with the others, so I might as well not go to the doors. Yeah, you only you can really only talk to them if you see them out. Yeah. Uh, you're following me. Why are you over here? Okay. So this probably changed. I probably should have talked to them before I got Sayaka, and I would have gotten different dialogue. Wait, you did talk to them before you... I did talk to him. <laughs> but it didn't change. Yeah, that didn't change. Okay. Well, I was wondering, maybe that guy wasn't triggered until after I got Sayaka then? Because his dialogue was strictly about both of them.